Hi guys and gals, Tristan here for Amazulu, and today we're going to have the talk. That's right, your mother and I discussed it, and we feel you're old enough to know about decorative coverings, because decorative coverings are what take an idea and really pull it together. Now, as with all the Amazulu products, I'm going to be showing you natural and synthetic, and all of them can be treated to a class A fire retarding. So if it's a commercial project, we get it. That's essential. We've got you covered. So just let your eyes enjoy what you're going to see. And if you have any questions, I'll repeat this at the end. All you have to do is ask. Let's start with cabana mat. This is cabana mat. These are woven palm tree leaves and they look amazing. They're great on ceilings. Because it's woven leaves, they don't work well in places where people are going to be leaning up against them or rubbing against them. So it would not work well, for example, in a bar on a wall, but behind the liquor, on the back bar, absolutely, wonderful product. Its cousin is called back back mat. These are woven from the abaca leaves in, in the Philippines. Now it's called back back mat because it looks the same on the front and the back. And years ago, the matriarch of the industry in the Philippines commented that it looks the same back back. She could have said front front, but she didn't. She said back back, the name stuck such is the power of a woman with a machete. This is a really cool product, but because of typhoons, I'm not sure when you're watching this, we're doing this in June of 2020, because there have been a lot of typhoons in the Philippines, it sort of shredded the abaca crops, and this is intermittent availability. So if you're looking at this, and you should be, um, keep in mind that it may or may not be available, or we might need a longer lead time. Now these are really great, not only in islandy themed environments if you're going to trim it out with bamboo or something like that they also work really well in contemporary environments so you can have a very contemporary um, setting decor and you put this on a ceiling and you trim it out and it just gives a warmth it brings an organic touchy feeling to a space so as you're looking at this stuff keep in mind it's not just for tiki anymore other things let's talk bamboo co coverings this is called tambour panoi they're little strips of bamboo on a cloth back, and it comes in a couple different flavors. And it's really neat because it's great for going around corners or if you're wrapping a post. It's also good just on the bottom, on a wall. This is sturdy enough that you can use it for walls or ceilings. Another bamboo is bamboo skin board. This is where they take the outside of the bamboo, the skin, and they weave it into this herringbone pattern. This is a little more sophisticated. It's more rustic cousin is called wide weave board. Now these are pretty sturdy in terms of coatings because they are the outside of the skin of the bamboo. So this can go in a place that's going to have some contact and you can wipe it down with wet cloths and you're going to be just fine. Now another bamboo product is called woven bamboo plywood. This is the meat of the bamboo and they weave it together this is one of those that is not good in high contact areas, but again, if it's on a wall that isn't going to have a lot of contact or on a ceiling, it's beautiful. It's also the most affordable decorative covering option. And if you pop this in the oven and you sweat the sugars and you carbonize it, you end up with amber board, the exact same thing, just a little different flavor, a little different finish. Now with all of these decorative coverings, the natural ones, they don't work well outside. These are just organic products. They're leaves, they're bamboo, they're seagrass, woven seagrass. They don't do well outside because the sun, the rain, it's going to deteriorate them. Unless, let's say you have a covered roof that's outside but it's covered and you're putting it on the ceiling. As long as it's not directly exposed to the elements, then you're okay. But anytime you're gonna have sun, rain, snow, elements hitting it, these guys don't work very well outside. One more organic before we move to the synthetic is reed sealing board. Check this out. They take individual African reeds and they glue them to mason board. Why would you use this? Well, let's say you're putting reed thatch on the roof of a building, but because you may have electronic equipment, point of sale equipment, you can't afford to have an open frame structure. It can't leak. So you put plywood on there. Well, on the underside, if you put this, and then you frame it with bamboo or eucalyptus poles every 12, 24 inches, now somebody walking in your building looks up and it looks like they're looking at the underside of the thatch. So 
I'm not going to tell if you're not going to tell. Now, because there are outdoor applications sometimes where you just need to have something decorative outside, that's where the synthetics come in. These things are incredible. Look at this. That's synthetic. It's made of HDPE, completely recyclable. Um, one of our zoos put this in a tiger enclosure and they hose it down every night with chlorinated water. It's been up, I think, four years. Stuff is really, really good. So this can be outdoors. It can be rained on. It can get the sun. It's not going anywhere. It comes in herringbone. It comes in basket weave. It comes in different flavors and colors. It comes in bandow. The idea being with this, just as this other stuff, works really well in commercial settings. We've had hotels that have used this in the hallway because it's, it looks great when you're having um, belt carts hitting into it and stuff, no problem at all. Very industrial, very commercial. We've had office buildings that have used this in hallways, restrooms. So the takeaway here is don't just think these are for island themed situations. Whatever your project, it can always use a little bit of warming. It can use a little bit of flavor. And I have bamboo out here because you can line walls and ceilings with bamboo as well. It looks phenomenal. We go into that in one of the other videos. And also you can use eucalyptus for the same thing. Bottom line, I know we've talked about a lot of things. I don't expect you to remember it all, but the only thing you need to remember, give us a call. Whatever your project, any questions, give us a call. We'll walk you through it. We'll help zero you in on the best product. What's going to do the, um, going to do the application most accurately, most efficiently, get you what you want out of it. Call anytime. And as always, it's cool.